Welcome back for another episode of Leading, Serving, Living Mercy. I'm Joy Murphy. In this episode, we feature some MSM alum who are literally suiting up to face the battle against COVID-19. From the class of 2001, Kelsey Miller donning her face mask and scrubs is an RN on the acute care floor at St. Anthony Hospital. She comes in contact with coronavirus patients and says being a nurse in this pandemic is like no other. Her heart breaking for the patients battling for their lives without the support of visitors in the hospital. Miller says she does her best to try to give them peace during this time of uncertainty, taking extra time talking to them, providing them comfort. She credits her education at the Mount for her sense of mercy, saying, MSM taught me to always be merciful to those in need. At the end of the day, it is the patient that brings me closer to God. Even in all this chaos, I love to help. From the class of 96, Julia Sariski is a registered nurse at Integris Hospice House in Oklahoma City. The outbreak of coronavirus drastically changing the everyday care for those in their last stage of life. With all the change, however, one thing remains constant, Sariski's commitment to service. You know, I, I kind of think back to the service projects that we were uh, required to participate in junior and senior year, and those have a special place in my heart. And I have a lot, a lot of memories and too numerous to count lessons from those experiences, but they really instilled in me personally um, a desire to be of service, you know, having the foundation that the Mount provided for me um, was very instrumental, I think, in guiding me to this place. And there are so many, so many things that I treasure about my education that I received at the Mount. And I'm so proud. I'm so proud to be a rocket and, um, just very thankful and grateful that my mom was able to provide that education and that um, experience for my brother and I. Well, we are certainly grateful for you, Julia and Kelsey, and for all those on the front lines. Thank you. Two important notes for that last story that we want to make sure that you know about. The care packages that Julia was receiving was from a nurse assistant, Jennifer Lemon, also a Mount St. Mary alum, class of 96. The care packages included masks, fabric for masks, disinfectant equipment for masks, and even a monetary donation. And Julia's mother, by the way, was our Mount St. Mary librarian for a few years in the 1990s. We want to hear your stories and what those are doing in our Mount community, so be sure to email us or make a comment below, and we'll be sure to feature those stories in upcoming segments. We pivot now to the leadership of our school. For the last 17 years, we have been under the guidance of Talita Denegre. With over 35 years of experience in education, our school principal has expertly navigated us through the distance learning process. Here's an interview. You know, I'm very proud of the fact that almost two years ago, Mount St. Mary was one of the first high schools to implement Cyber Days. Our staff pulled together and developed the program in the event that we would need to prepare for a scheduled day off from school. And rather than the school curriculum halting the students through the leadership of the teachers and the guidance of the teachers would be able to continue with their lessons for the day. So school would continue even though we weren't in school. So this year after spring break, um, the cyber days gave us the opportunity, gave us time in which to work on a more intense program, which is our distance learning program. We knew we needed to keep the integrity of our Mount St. Mary academic curriculum, as well as honoring the tuition commitment of our parents. So through the benefits of technology, we as a staff, even though we weren't together, we were still able to come together and be able to communicate and develop the current distance learning program that we have. Our staff immediately stepped into the role of developing and leading the distance learning program. Have there been problems these last four and a half, five weeks? Of course, of course there have. And I'm just so very proud of our teachers 
and our staff, and especially of our students for their understanding and for their patience and for their trust. And this program could not have been implemented without the unity of the entire Mount community pulling together for the sake of our students. You know, we, we each have a job description, but we don't have a job description. And in my opinion, that's what a family is built upon. Everybody contributes no matter the circumstances. And so when this situation took place, we immediately huddled together. Everybody, everybody offered suggestions and we all went to work. When an obstacle occurs, and they do, we circle up again, we talk, we communicate, and we listen. We listen to one another. And no matter the situation, it's the trust within each other and it's the willingness within each other to want to learn. And so everybody on staff has something to offer. And so we uh, are sometimes hesitant and we are sometimes um, a little apprehensive, but through our trust as a staff, we are all willing to take that risk because it's a family of togetherness and it has to be in order for all of us to be able to move forward through these storms, we have to trust one another. I feel one of my strengths is to be optimistic and hopeful. And I hope that that transpires to my staff, to our students, to our families. Are we vulnerable right now? Absolutely, absolutely. We are vulnerable in so many ways, especially through our feelings and our emotions and the doubt, the questions of what's coming, what's next. But my trust, in God, to believe in our future, that we are not lost. And so we must, through these types of situations, we must look for solutions. In every problem that comes my way, I always look for a solution. And so now more than ever, we need to be creative, and it's through our creativity that we are able to keep hope alive. And so through our hope, I hope that we can continue to have the courage, have the endurance, which brings peace, not panic. And therefore, faith must be at the center of our hearts. Because you know, at Mount St. Mary, that is what we are known for. We are known for our faith. And we are also known for our strength. And I firmly believe that through our patron saint, Mary, we are able to continue to grow as a school, as a family, and we will not allow fear to take over. And so that's why we will continue to celebrate our students. I refuse to cancel graduation. I won't do that. And so um, we're gonna look for other options and we have, we have. And so we'll continue with our plans for celebrating our students through our academic ceremonies, as well as through celebrating our seniors and honoring them by looking into July dates, which we have secured for our seniors. And I have a plan A, B, C, and D, <laughs> so that we will carry on with our promise to honor our students, our seniors. You know, I just, I wanna express <clears throat> my gratitude and my love for our Mount community and for its love to Mount St. Mary 
and the deep faith that they continue to hold for the Mount St. Mary staff in spite of these crazy and chaotic times. Um, let's not allow this pandemic to set us back or to hold us back. Just the contrary. I want it to cause us, I want it to spur us to see the strength within ourselves and to allow the gifts that God has blessed each and every one of us with to help us to grow and to be the rocket family that we are known for being as we continue to lead and to serve and to live in mercy, not just now, but forever.